Hi, Assalamualaikum and greetings to everyone. My name is Madam Siti Hajar Binti Narashuddin and we meet again for another video which is the continuous from the previous lecture. In this video, I will explain to you about the eukaryotic cells for their structure and their organelles. Before we move forward, let's take a look on the lecture content. I'm sure that you all already covered with the topics of 5.1 and 5.2. But in this video, I will cover on the 5.3 and apart from the 5.4.1. The other part will be covered in the next video. So, are you guys ready? Let's start. Eukaryotic cells. There are two basic eukaryotic cells which are the animal cells and the plant cells. Eukaryotic cells have organelles which include the nucleus and other special parts. So, what are organelles? Organelles mean little organ that perform specific functions inside the cells. Let's take a look again the list of organelles that present inside the eukaryotes. But for this video, I will focus on the nucleus, ribosomes, rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and also the Golgi apparatus. Let's start with the nucleus, the control center of the cell. Nucleus contains DNA or genetic material. This DNA dictates what the cells are going to do and how the cells are controlling to do it. Nucleus is the largest organelle inside the cell and they are centrally located. It is surrounded by a nuclear envelope. Mostly, eukaryotic cell consists of one nucleus per cell. However, there are some enucleated, which means there are no nucleus such as the red blood cells, whereas some are multinucleated, which consists two or more nuclei, for example, we have the slime These are the specific functions of the nucleus. For example, it controls the normal activities of the cell. It contains the hereditary material, the genes of the DNA. It separates the genetic material from the rest of the cell. Lastly, it is responsible for protein synthesis, cell division, growth and differentiation of the cells. The structure of nucleus encompasses of nucleosome, chromatin, chromosome, nuclear envelope, nuclear pore, nucleolus, and also the nucleoplasms. Let's take a look one by one. Nucleosome is the fundamental unit of chromatin, while chromatin is a tangled spread out form of DNA and protein found inside the nuclear membrane. When the cell is ready to divide, reproducing a new cell, the DNA begins to condense and they will form a structure known as chromosome. So as you can see here, this is the chromatin and this is chromosome. Chromatin is a thin thread-like structure while the chromosome is a tightly packed DNA. They only can transform into a condensed chromosome during the cell division. Next, nuclear envelope is a double membrane enclosing the nucleus perforated by pores and continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum. Along the nuclear membrane, there is a nuclear pore which allow and control the exchange of chemicals such as RNA and proteins. The nucleolus is a round, darkly thin structure where it rich in proteins and RNA. It is mainly involved in the production of ribosomes. The final one is the nucleoplasm, the semi-fluid medium inside the nucleus. As you can see here, this diagram shows the structure of nucleus as a whole. So this is the nuclear envelope with the nuclear pores and inside the nucleus we have the nucleolus. The fluid here is called as the nucleoplasms. The chromatin is a thin thread structure where it will condense to form a chromosome during the cell division. The next organelle is ribosomes, the protein factory. Comparing to the nucleus just now, ribosome is the smallest organelle, or we say minute, inside the cell, but most numerous of the cell's organelle. It is composed of 40% of protein and 60% of RNA. As mentioned earlier, it is manufactured inside the nucleus. Ribosome form into two subunits. One is large subunit, this one, and the other one is called the small subunit. It also have two types, 70S ribosome 
and ATS ribosome. The ribosome may wander free-floating within the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Let's get to know the function of ribosome specifically. Main function is for protein synthesis in a way of translating the genetic codes of DNA into a protein and also synthesize the enzyme for cell use. Okay, the types of ribosome, the free-floating and the bounded ribosome. The free-floating are suspended inside the cytosol mainly for synthesizing the proteins to be used inside the cell, while the bound ribosome are attached to the ER, also synthesizing the protein but mainly to be export for the extracellular. In this slide, show the ATS ribosome and 70S ribosome description. Most important is, the ATS ribosome can be only be found inside the eukaryotic cell, while the 70S ribosome can only be found in the prokaryotic cells. Alright, here we go with the third organelle, the endoplasmic reticulum, biosynthetic factory. Endoplasmic reticulum, or I may use ER as a short form, is a network of membrane-bound tunnels. The flattened sac is called cisternae and the membrane of ER continues from the nuclear membrane. Endoplasmic reticulum acts as a secretory, storage, secretory and nervous systems of the cells. And ER is classified into two different types, which is the rough ER that has the ribosome attached to it, or the smooth ER that doesn't have a ribosome that attached to it. As you can see in the diagram, these are the different structure between the rough and the smooth ER. So the rough ER contain the ribosomes, the smooth ER doesn't have the ribosomes. The rough ER, a network of continuous flattened sacs studded with the ribosomes, it continues from the nuclear membrane. Its function helps to make proteins due to the presence of ribosomes. It will manufacture, process and transport for export from the cells and wrap into a transport vesicle. Next, the smooth ER. The smooth ER is a continuous membrane that consists of tubular vesicles and lack of ribosome on the outer surface. To be exact, it is extended membrane from the rough ER. Smooth ER is responsible for lipid production such as steroid and cholesterol and also involved in carbohydrate metabolism. Apart from that, smooth ER also can detoxify drugs, alcohol, and poisons, and also for calcium storage. This diagram will show to you the two-dimensional and three-dimensional structure of rough and smooth ER. The left image is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and the right image is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The next organelle is Golgi apparatus, or also known as the receiving and shipping center. Golgi is a stack flattened membranous sac called cisternae, and it contains a numerous vesicle containing the secretory granules. Golgi will modify, store, and routing the product from ER to the plasma membrane. It involves a packaging of protein before assigned and sending to the destination. That's why we said it is acting like the post office of the cell. Alright, this is the structure of Golgi apparatus. Golgi may have two different sites, which is the cis phase that receives material by fusing with the vesicle, and the second one is the trans phase where bud of vesicles that form will travel to the plasma membrane. Golgi actually progress forward from cis to transphase by carrying and modifying their content. Let's see how it performs. This is cis and transphase area, and this is the cisternae and lumen structure. Firstly, the receiving process. A vesicle that buds from the ER will fuse the membrane of the cis phase inside the Golgi. Next process is modifying, where the products of ER are usually modified during the transit from cis to trans region. Next, a sorting process. Before Golgi dispatches its product, it will sort the products and target for specific use inside the cell or to be export out. 
and lastly, the shipping process. The transfers give rise to the newly forming secretory vesicle that pinch off and travel to the other sides of the cells. Alright, this is diagram summarized of all organelles and structure we have learned in this video. From the nucleus here, that contain the nuclear embryos, are attached continuously with the rough endoplasmic reticulum and on the surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum, we have the ribosomes. And as standard of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, we have a tubular structure called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum without the ribosome attached to it. And next one is the Golgi apparatus that receives input from the uh, endoplasmic reticulum and transfer out the product towards the plasma membrane. However, this is not the ending. The endomembrane system of the cell and other parts of organelle in eukaryotic cells will be continued in the next video. So stay tuned guys. So here is the references and thank you from me. Until we meet again, bye bye.